Okay, everyone. Sorry, it's been a really long time since I've made a video. It has been a hectic couple of months. First with work, then I moved, and then Hurricane Harvey happened. I was lucky enough not to have been affected, but a lot of people that I love and care about were. So if you find yourself in a position to give, please consider giving to any one of those natural disasters. If you want to give to somebody that I know personally, I put a link in the description box below to a close personal friend that lost everything. On a happier note, I am back out and about and I'm visiting one of my favorite parks and I wanted to take the opportunity to answer some questions because a while back I was tagged by Texas Hikeaholics in the hiker tag. And I'm sorry that I'm just getting around to this, but it's such a fun set of questions and I thought it'd be really nice to answer them and to pass those questions along to somebody else. So let's get to the trailhead and I'll answer those questions. All right, at the trailhead, let's start on those questions. First question is, who are you? Well, my name's Becky. I was born and raised in Houston, Texas, and I work full time in the customer service industry. Apart from the activities that you see on this channel, I really love to paint and draw. I love to travel, not only to state parks and trails, but also to urban areas. I'm a huge fan of museums and historical sites and pretty much every other nerdy thing you can think of. I started seriously hiking probably around the summer of 2013. I wanted to get in better shape, but I really hated the idea of going to a gym. Artificial lights, too many people, confined spaces. So I just thought, what's the opposite of all that? And hiking was a natural fit. So after I spent a little time hiking and camping on my own, I decided to delve into the world of backpacking. And it has taken hiking to a whole other level. Everything that I love about hiking is amplified when you get to these more remote areas. There's also something to be said about having to rely on careful planning to ensure that the time you spend outdoors is enjoyable and for being resourceful when things don't go as planned. That careful preparation really comes into play when you're planning your meals. You have to be really selective about what you bring. Some of my favorite trail snacks are dried fruit and nuts, beef jerky, because they travel well and they're calorie dense. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that as far as meals go, I really love to cook on the trail. I like to be in control of the portion sizes and the ingredients that go into my food. My only regret, I think, is that sometimes it can somewhat limit how far I can travel. I think the longest trip that I've been on so far has been about 22 miles or so um, over a couple of days. I wouldn't mind taking longer trips when time and equipment allow it, but in the meantime, I'll just continue to hit my favorite trails. I'd say the trails that I probably repeat the most are the trails at Brazos Bend. It's very accessible to where I am, and I also really love all the flora and fauna and different trail types. But if I could go anywhere, I'd say top of my list would have to be any of the great walks in New Zealand. It's just such a diverse place and every interest that you can think of is represented. I think something unstructured would probably be fun as well. Um, randomly camping among some castle ruins in Scotland would be amazing. Um, that place seems really suited for just aimless wandering, which I love to do. I tend to go off trail a lot. 
most of the time relying on the breadcrumbs feature of my GPS, but I keep a map and compass handy just in case. It's a little bit risky because I tend to travel alone most of the time, but I like to be alone in my own thoughts and kind of go at my own pace. I tend to stop and look at things a lot, which I feel would probably get pretty annoying pretty quickly. I'm not opposed to traveling with others. I think if I did, I'd probably entice them with what I like on the trail, which is varied terrain. So some, you know, shady forests and some open spaces. Um, something that's challenging because I like to feel like I've accomplished something. And my biggest trail wish list item is somewhere to swim. I really love swimming holes and waterfalls and rivers. So if you know a trail that fits that description, let me know in the comments below. So now I need to tag someone. I am going to tag Smell and Roses. I really love the dialogue on his channel and he's got some really interesting things to say. So I think it'd be fun to hear his answers to this question. And he also needs more subscribers because he's awesome. So I hope you've enjoyed the answers to these questions and that I didn't ramble too much. Until next time, happy camping.